Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing all the new 2022 makeup launches. I already tried them on my face, but I'm so excited for you guys to see how everything turned out. This is the look I created with everything new, and I am obviously back at home again. But I just wanted to say it because Jaden is here and he wanted to say hi. And we are going to do our makeup together, and I was really surprised at some of the skin products. I'm giving you some honest feedback on these products, so if they didn't work for me here, doesn't mean that it's not gonna work for you. We are different skin types, complexions. Just cause I say I don't like something, doesn't mean you're not gonna like it. I'll have everything linked below for you guys to check out. If you wanna see how I got this look and all the new 2022 makeup launches, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be a part of the Dong fam. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we put on the makeup, I wanna show you how I prep my under eyes. This portion of the video is sponsored by Clarence, so thank you guys for sponsoring this. I absolutely love the Clarence Total Eye Lift. I talked about this before on my channel, the fact that you see visible eye lifting results in 60 seconds is so insane to me and that's why I love showing you guys this product. This is what the bottle looks like. You can't miss it. It's this beautiful red. I'm gonna show you guys how I apply it. There's a specific way to do it. So you just take your two fingers, do a little dot. You don't really need that much. Warm it up in your fingers like so. And you're gonna take these three fingers and press it into your skin. Like press it into your under eyes like this and go up and around and right down the middle to drain. And I have dealt with under eye circles all my life and I've recently started dealing with puffiness around my eyes, especially if I'm congested. Lately, you know, everybody's getting sick. I get super puffy right here. So this really helps to drain everything, lift my eye and you're gonna see the difference in my under eye. You can already kind of see the lift. Because the eye area is so delicate, you wanna make sure you're not rubbing or stretching your skin around the area. So it's important to press into the skin and you can actually press into your brows and lashes too. It's completely fine. There's 94% natural ingredients in the Total Eye Lift. It's the complete anti-aging eye cream. It covers the crow's feet, the wrinkles, puffiness, dark circles, and puffiness and dark circles are my main thing that I wanna work on. And it's really, really helped make them look a lot better, especially before makeup. If I wake up in the morning and I'm super puffy, I apply this to my face, just like how I showed you guys, and it is like a total eye lift. I really, really enjoy this product and the fact that it's a visible eye lift that you can see in 60 seconds. So incredibly crazy, but it actually works. If you guys want to check it out, I'll have the link below. It's such a great product. I'm really excited about this because I've seen everybody talk about it being a dupe to the Milk Hydra Grip. Okay, so let's see. It, it's definitely a gel, just like the Milk one, and it feels tacky. Ooh, okay. It has hyaluronic acid in it, so it's supposed to be hydrating. But this is definitely one of those primers that are specifically for long-lasting makeup, not so much hydration. Your skin's not gonna feel like moisturized and plump after this. It's gonna feel tacky, like ready for foundation. I definitely feel the tackiness. That is definitely there. I wonder how long it will last. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see wear tests. I've never done one before on my channel and I'd love to like test that out, but my skin is ready for foundation, but I'm actually not putting on a foundation right now because I wanna try the Jaclyn Skin Tint. This is the Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint. I'm gonna try this out. I know it's supposed to be like a barely there type of product, just making your skin look a little bit more enhanced, even blurred and smooth. So I wanna test it out. This is the light medium. If it isn't enough coverage, I am going to most likely use a foundation over it. I do have her concealer, which we'll be testing out together as well. This is pretty thick for a skin tint. I thought it was gonna be kind of like liquidy, but it's thick. Do you see that? I'm interested to see the type of coverage it's gonna give me because we know Jacqueline loves her coverage and I'm gonna apply this with my finger. Oh my, this feels really weird on top of the Milk primer, not gonna lie. It doesn't allow me to just like smooth it in. I have to press it in because of the primer. I put way too much on my hand. I think it's a little light for my skin tone. I'm gonna get a mirror because I can't see anything. I don't think I should have applied the primer with this because I see the glowiness, but it is clinging to areas on my face. Let me blend it in really quick. Let me blend it in. 
and then I'll say something, hold on. I don't know if I'll be using this primer with this again, but I do see that luminous glow coming through with the skin tint. I'm gonna definitely have to use a foundation over this just because I'm gonna need some coverage. These don't play well together. I should have used this by itself because it's clinging to areas of my face like here, all in here. I think I need to use this on its own. I'm gonna try this out again by itself. Obviously not a good start to the makeup products, but I am gonna give it a try. I don't think it's Jacqueline's products. I think it's the mixture of the primer and the skin tint together. Anyways, so give my skin a little bit more coverage. I'm gonna try the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This came in my PR and I got so excited because I love everything from NARS, minus their ultra matte foundation, not a fan. But everything else they create, I absolutely love. And this is light reflecting and I just got so excited. So this is the shade Punjab. I'm so excited. I've actually already used this, but I just, I'm excited to show you guys. I'm using my new e.l.f. beauty sponge and the bottom has like a silicone piece to it. So I'm interested to see how this is gonna work with my foundation. So it's not gonna sink into the sponge. It's gonna give you a little bit more coverage. So I'm excited for that. But the top of the sponge does absorb the foundation. So I'll use that for concealer. Avoiding like my eye area just because I wanna really give the concealer a good go. But I'm really liking how this is applying my foundation. And the coverage is there. Honestly, I was a little skeptical because it was a silicone. And I'm like, what's the purpose if it's not gonna absorb the excess? But it's actually applying my foundation so evenly so nice it's giving me that coverage that i want it actually helped my foundation look better that's an aggressive sound <laughs> it doesn't hurt i mean it doesn't feel that bad but it sounds really crazy this is a really cool sponge i'm definitely going to be using this more often and i love the silicone side which i did not think i was gonna like Ooh, we found a new product so if you're at your local drugstore pick up this beauty sponge because it's actually really really good I really love that my skin still looks luminous and natural. Let's cover these dark circles though. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Jaclyn concealer. Jaclyn sent me about six concealers. I chose the light medium pink and light medium peach, which I love the names because they're just very direct. You know what you're gonna get, you know the undertone. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the pink undertone and apply that. I heard that these dry very fast, so I'm not gonna sit here and take my time with it. I'm just gonna blend it in. I did do some research before I tried these. A lot of the times I don't like to really look at other videos, but I did and I was like, okay, I'm glad I did because I know to blend it in super fast. So I'm gonna do another layer right here. I don't like this part for the concealer area just because it's a weird edge, but wow, look at that coverage. You did that, Jacqueline, you did that. The coverage is so good. Well, this is perfect. This is a perfect little balance. You have your skin tint, which is very lightweight and hydrating. And then you have your concealer, which is super full coverage. Oh. Jaden's walking to Where are you going? To the kitchen or to your room? To your room. Okay. We're going to wait till Jaden goes to his room. We're going to hear his footsteps for a second. Okay. So <laughs> now I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on the little things I have to go through when I'm filming at home. I'll put another layer of the concealer on both sides. I feel like my under eyes are really dark on this side today. I don't know why. But we are going to work this concealer in. You know, the good thing about this concealer is that you know, because it dries so fast, you don't have to worry about it slipping and sliding. And for those of you who don't like to set your under eyes because it makes them look maybe a little bit more caked, wrinkled, you're gonna love this concealer because I don't think you're gonna have to really set your under eye. I'm really liking the finish. I'm loving the coverage. I'm gonna use a little bit more for like a brightening effect on my face. I'm trying to go really fast because I know this thing dries down and it stays put. Now that that's done, I'm gonna get into the eyes. I love, love, love this palette. I haven't used it on my channel. It's new from Natasha Denona. It's the Glam Face Palette and this is the dark version. There's a light and a dark and I love the dark for my eyes. I recently did an eye look with this palette. I got a lot of comments saying to do the step-by-step -step look for it. I'll post the photo right here, but that's the look I'm doing today. I'm gonna show you guys how to create it. And it's super easy, and it's obviously only with these shades. 
and a little bit of glitter. The first color I'm gonna take is Transition, which actually this is kind of a too dark of a transition for me. So I'm gonna go in with the Christina Sickless palette, which is I've never tried this palette and you guys have never seen it on my channel either. She has a lot of nice transition shades in here. I'm taking Tara. We're gonna go in and create a little crease shade like so. Wow, that blends so easy super easy into the eye and i just want to create a little bit of this shadow above the crease and then right on the lower lash line the light is going down and i'm so scared that my whole video is going to be super dark after this but just take that all over the crease and right around the lower lash line after that we're going to go in with a flat brush and i'm going to take smoke which is the darkest shade in the dark palette so take smoke and just apply it all over the lid. This is such an easy eye look because it doesn't require too many steps. I mean, it looks like it does, but it really, it's not that bad. I'm gonna go ahead and blend the edges. This can get a little messy. There is a little bit of fallout with this palette, but the shadows are just so like soft and pretty. And I'm gonna have to clean that up later. But basically you just put a little bit down on your eyelid. And then I'm gonna take the transition shade and the crease shade and kind of layer them. I'm gonna go into the crease shade first. I'm gonna take that right above the smoke shade. You know what, I'm such a Natasha Denona fan, but this smoke shade is really patchy. Now I'm gonna go over the entire lid with inner corner, have that really pretty bronzy champagne layered right on top. I did add a little glitter, but I can't locate the palette that I use. I use the glitter from the Unconditional palette right on the corner, just like a little bit. Don't know where that's at, but we are gonna skip that part for this look. And then for the outer corner, I'm using the outer corner, which is this pretty, really, really beautiful copper shade. I'm just gonna take that and add it to the outer edge of the eyelid. Um, well, the eyelid. Um, I was saying eyelid and lash at the same time. I feel like we have to definitely fix up the brow bone. So I'm gonna do that, but I wanna go into transition and inner corner and just take it right underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take cre crema, 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 or I'm sure it's crema. I'm gonna take that underneath the brow bone to soften it out a little bit more. These shades are really interesting because they move very airy on the skin, but they're really pigmented. We are intense today. Our eyes are very intense today. This is the Birdie Lash in the style Dream. Very, very pretty and super full. So I'm gonna go in with the House of Lashes Lash and Dash Eyelash Adhesive Slash Liquid Liner. So I'm gonna do that really quick. And also just a little bit of tight lining with a black pencil liner. I'm back, I put on my lashes and the liner. I'm gonna go ahead and add some black liner to the waterline, but just halfway in. You can add it all the way if you want. I just want a little bit of space there. And then I'm gonna add some mascara, my favorite. I'm probably gonna need a new one very shortly. All right, so now that we have our lashes and our eyes are done, I feel like I need a heavier brow now. Okay, I'm gonna elongate my brow a little bit more. We just did a whole eye transformation and I kind of love it. So now that we have our eyes done, I'm gonna go ahead and set this center part of my face. And I'm gonna use the Locket Powder Foundation from KVD in medium 145. This is actually kind of dark for me. I should be going a lot lighter, but this is the only one I have in this area. It is so dark and this is an immediate like fix. I've been using it for years and it just sits so good, especially in pictures. You see how like smooth, bright, and flawless it looks now? I love it. I'm just gonna take that right in the center, like right in the V area of the face because that's really the only part of my face that I like to look mattified. So Alamar Cosmetics came out with a hydrating complexion trio in a powder, so I thought that was really interesting and I wanted to try it out. Brightener, a contour, and a bronzer for me. So I'm gonna go into those. I'm just gonna use the bronzer on my cheek area. I wanted to check this out and see how it looks. It looks like there's tiny pearls in there, light reflecting pearls. Ooh, that's pretty. That just gave me a whole lot of life. And right on the top of my forehead and the temple, I'm taking the shade Always Summer. We have to contour the nose, so. I'm just gonna take a blending brush, this middle shade, Soltera, and then we're gonna take it starting right at the top of the nose where the eyebrow is going down the side and coming in here on the tip. 
and we are snatched. I think a lot of you guys have told me this angle makes my nose look even more crooked, but that's just real life to be honest, so love me as I am. Elf has some new lip liners. They're called Love Triangle Lip Filler Liner. They sent me three shades. I think I'm gonna go for light brown. We're going for the bronzy look today. My lip liner just fell on my coffee. Very cute, very cute. I fill in my lip. The triangle on the lip liner is great to define the lip because I have it on my lip liner. This is my Dominique lip liner. It applies a little patchy. I'm not like a super fan of this lip liner. And there's not a lot of color. Like you have to keep going back and forth to get the color to lay down. So I'm not super fan of this. They also have liquid lips. So I'm gonna go with basic page since we're going with brown. What is this? Basic beige. I don't know what this is. When I pull it out, it looks like like this. It smells like chemical. Ooh, that's very cooling. It's like an oil almost. It is an oil, I think. Mmm, that feels. This is an interesting formula. Very interesting. I think it's super comfortable. It's really nice. So this is the final look. I'm not a super fan of the lip liner or the primer and the Jaclyn skin tint mixed together. That probably was the least favorite part of for me in the video. But other than that, everything else worked out really well. I loved the concealers. I think my eyelash is lifting up. So this is the final look. I really like how it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to thumbs it up for me. If you missed these two videos, make sure to check them out. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. I'm here every week. We can hang out every week, talk about makeup, life, family. I'll be here every week for you. Before I end the video, I always leave you with a motivational message. And today's message is if you want something, go out and get it. It's not gonna come to you. You have to put in the work. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.